Hey everybody, this is Walter with Access Electric, and today I wanted to talk to you about how to size a junction box according to the National Electric Code. This is going to take into consideration straight pulls, angle pulls, and U-pulls in junction boxes that have conductors that are over number four in size. So stay with me as we go over Article 314-28 in the National Electric Code. So here on the screen, we have three types of pull boxes. Like I mentioned earlier, we have straight pulls, angle pulls, and U-pulls. And so let's talk about straight pulls first. Here we have a straight pull, which is pulling directly through a box from one side to the other. And Article 314.28.1 will give us the specifics on how to size these boxes. And according to that article, we are going to need to multiply the trade size of the conduit by eight. So the trade size of this conduit on the left is number is two inch, and I'm showing the on the right as inch and a half. So we're going to let, use the largest conduit, the two inch conduit, and multiply that by eight, which gives us 16 inches. And so this box will need to be at a minimum 16 inches wide in order to have a straight pull through that box. So now we're gonna move on to U-pulls and angle pulls. And in this particular example, I have a U-pull, which we're going to find in Article 314.28.2, the requirements for U-pulls and angle pulls. Now, these are gonna be a little bit different in that we are going to to have to take two things into consideration. We have to size the width of this box. How wide does this box have to be when all the conduits are coming in one side? How wide do we need to make that box because their conductors are coming in and they're going back out the same side? That's one consideration. The other consideration is how far apart do the conduits need to be where the conductors come in and go back out? There's a distance requirement for for the distance between those two conduits. So first of all, let's, si let's size for the width of this box. So here in this box, we're going to, the, this article will tell us that we need six times the diameter, the, for this is for the width of the box, we need six times the diameter of the largest conductor in a row plus the sum of all the other pipes in that row. So I have two rows here. In the first row, the row up front, I have two two-inch conduits in that first row. And in the second row, I have four one-inch conduits. So for the first row, it would requir require six times two for the largest pipe in that row, six times two-inch, which gives us 12 inches, plus an additional two inches for the other two-inch conduit in that row. So the first row would require a 14 inch side to side distance in this box. From this side of the box to this side of the box would be 14 inches. The second row would require six times one because one inch is the largest pipe in this row. They're all the same size and they're all one inch. So six times one which is six plus one plus one plus one. So the second row would require a nine inch side to side box. So we are going to go with a 14 inch box. That would be the minimum that this box could be. It could be larger than 14, but at a minimum, it has to be at least 14 inches wide. The other consideration besides the width of the box is the distance from between our pipes. And so this is also going to require six times the trade size of the largest pipe for our distance between our pipes. So here in this example, I have wiring coming in the coming out of the two inch pipe, going back in to the one inch pipe. Uh, these are greater than number four, so this would require us to have two times six and these pipes would have to be at least 12 inches apart. 
Now, if these wires were spliced in this box, that would make a big difference. If they were spliced in this box, then they're not the same conductor that is coming in the two inch as is leaving the one inch. Therefore, this distance requirement wouldn't be, it would not be required to have 12 inches apart if the wires were spliced. But if it's a continuous run and it comes in and goes out, these two pipes would have to be at least 12 inches apart. Now, this, these requirements also will come up again when we look at an angle type box. And here we have an angle pull, an angle pull. So here we have to determine the size of the box. And we also have to determine the distance between our, our conduits. What's that minimum distance? And here again, we're going to need six times the larger raceway. So we're here we have two two inch conduits coming in one coming in the side, one going out the top, the other one coming in the side, the other one going on the top. Wires coming out of this conduit going into this one. It's going coming out of this one going into this one. So what is our minimum distance? So it would be 2 times 6 would give us 12 inches between the two nearest raceways. So 12 inches between these two raceways. That would be our minimum distance. So now that we know that, how do we size the box? So the box, again, would be six times the largest raceway plus the sum of all the other raceways on the same side or on in the same row. So here we had, say we're counting from the top, we have a two inch raceway times six, that's 12, plus two, that's 14. So that would require a minimum of a 14 inch box and since we have the same size conduits on the other side, this box minimum would have to be 20, would have to be 14 inches. The problem with this is that if this was a 14 inch box, there's no way to maintain a 12 inch gap between our nearest conduits. So this box is going to have to be increased in size in order to maintain this 12 inch distance between our nearest conduits. And that's how you do it. That's how you size straight junction boxes, angled junction boxes, and U-pull junction boxes according to the National Ledger Code. If you like these videos, give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to subscribe to our channel, go ahead and do that. Uh, if you want to click the bell notification, you'll get notified whenever we put on a new, a new video. And until the next time, have a great day.